you go to every single home open, you go to all of the places that are trying to make their houses, you do the best you can to make a good impression and all that stuff, you put in applications on time and I've been rejected every single time and it's depressing because it makes you not want to even bother but if you don't bother you don't get a chance at all. Can you imagine living in a tent because you can't afford a rental? That's a reality for Christine and her four kids. This isn't livable, you're not supposed to live this way. So you've got your bedroom, a kitchen, yep, you, you a dining room yep. in here. And closet for storage, I guess. But I feel like I'm just hitting a brick wall every single time. And then we come back here and we go to sleep. Wake up and do it all again the next day. So yeah, it's not fantastic. When Christine's home burnt down in January, she was plunged back into a rental market economists describe Damn. as among the worst in the country. She's had over 50 housing applications rejected and jumps between different caravan parks. Caravan park owners have told me they're turning desperate families away daily because they just can't keep up with demand. Christine says she's on a priority waiting list for social housing, but says it could take years. Oh my gosh. I feel for this woman. She's a single mother with four kids. I can't even imagine what it will be like being homeless with four kids. Imagine you doing everything on your own. You don't have no support from the other parent and things ain't picking up like you want to. And the sad part is this woman had a house, but the house burned down. I wonder if she had any family that would allow her to stay for the time being until she find her own place, because that's a very unfortunate situation. I know if I had a family member and a house burned down, and they needed a place to stay for the time being, I will make that sacrifice and allow them to stay. But I bet you her family members that she asked to stay with didn't agree to it because she has four kids and they probably like, oh, I don't want to have to deal with kids making noise. I got to get up for work in the morning, this and that. And so she was left with no other option but to hit the streets. And now she living in tents and all that. And it says she applied to like 50 different houses and didn't get accepted. That got to be frustrating as a parent, not only as a parent, but as a single parent with four kids. You got four mouths to feed and it's on you. If you give up, it's over. Y'all never going to be able to get in y'all next home. And I wonder where is the father at? Why is he not helping this woman raise his kids or helping this woman get back on her feet? I don't know about that, but I just know that this woman is going to get blessed. Watch. Don't give up. If you're watching this video, don't give up because it's always light on the end of the tunnel. This woman deserves a lot of props because she's strong. She seems like she wants to give up, but she knows she has kids to take care of. And she knows that that wouldn't be the best option. I just hate hearing situations like this where everything's going good in your life and then all of a sudden, something drastic happens that's not in your power. A house burning down could have been from something that she couldn't have controlled. So I hope this woman gets back on her feet and she don't have to live on the streets because I couldn't imagine living in a tent and it's pouring down raining. It's freezing cold outside and you got kids and they complaining, I'm cold and you can't do nothing but provide blankets jackets but it's still cold because you laying on the floor and you going through all that trying to figure out what's my next move i didn't apply to all these houses and they haven't approved me and it just takes a toll on your body and that's what it seemed like this woman is going through she's on the brink of giving up but i feel like her children are pushing her to keep going because if this woman was single and she didn't have no kids, it would have been a lot easier and she would have figured it out and things would have came into play. But when you have four kids, it's a whole nother ball game. I don't have no kids myself, but I'm just trying to get in the mind of a parent with four kids, homeless, and you are the glue to this family. The father's not helping wherever he is and you have to show your kids how to take care of business and how to survive in unfortunate situations. And that saying, only the strongest survive. 
this is what's happening in this situation. And this woman is strong and she's pushing. She's <sighs> overwhelmed. You hear it in her voice while she's talking to the news reporter. And that's just very unfortunate. I hope this woman gets the help that she needs because I just hate seeing videos like this, especially when there's kids involved. That'd be the worst part. Um, I wish this kind of stuff make me really appreciate my life because I know right now as I'm making this video, somebody or people are out on the streets trying to figure out what's the next move. How am I going to eat tomorrow? How am I going to survive? Am I going to get lucky and earn five dollars so I can go get a meal? That's what a lot of these homeless people have to go through. That's what's running in their mind. And a lot of them just give up and just say, forget it. And just let life take them wherever they go. And that's just sad, man. I pray for all the homeless people out there. I hope all y'all get inside your own place, apartment, whatever it is. Even money to live in a, a motel or hotel. That's better than living on the streets. A lot of people don't appreciate the little things in life, but you have to appreciate the little things in life. Imagine just living on the street, like I said earlier in the video, and it's pouring down, raining. It's 100 degrees outside, and you're trying to stay cool, and you bouncing from different areas to areas. You have to figure out how you're going to take a shower. All this stuff is playing out in their head. It seems like it's a tough task being a homeless individual. And I don't wish homelessness on nobody. That's why I love reacting to these videos because it just shows that a lot of us don't have it as bad as we think we do. So, once again, always be thankful because y'all see what this woman has to go through. Four kids and she's doing it on her own. But that's all I got for you guys. And make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. And until next time, I'm gone. Peace.